presentation is going to be on different uniforms and equipment worn by the, the various individuals who went up against each other during the Normandy campaign. And uh, what they'll do is they'll give you an explanation of the, the, the uniform, the gear that they carry, the weapons that they use. Our next speaker is uh, Pioneer Eugen Vessling from the 5th SS Pioneers. Hey, hello, Doug. Um, everybody you've seen before you has been German Army. Uh, I'm the real bad guys. Uh, I represent the SS, uh, more specifically the Waffen SS, which in German translates to armed. Uh, we were combat soldiers just like everybody else, uh, except for um, uh, I portray a pioneer impression, which in, in military terms means an engineer, a combat engineer. I wear the black piping. You've seen everybody else with white infantry piping. The Waffenfarbe on my shoulder boards is black. Uh, what I have on right now is I have on the uh, Schwimm Pioneer assault pack, which holds all your explosives. Um, I've got four two kilogram uh, explosive charges, very similar to your Comp D during World War II or your C4 as of today. Um, on my back, I carry uh, three or two three kilogram explosives, primers, wire cutters, detonators, uh, as well as inside the pack. I also carry my basic rations, uh, uh, my Zell bond, which is my uh, my shelter half, and I carry up top. I carry my mess tin. Um, here on here, I have my uh, my ammo pouches. I carried 40 rounds instead of the tri pouch, which carried 60 uh, for the K98K Mauser. Uh, standard anti rifle of the German Army, which actually has rounds in it. Um, uh, <laughs> so, uh, so instead of the uh, 60 rounds, I carried 40 because my main job is to blow up bridges, destroy tanks, destroy uh, any enemy installations, their installations and obstacles. Um, a member of the 5th SS Pioneer Division of Viking, uh, that stands for Viking in English, we were on the uh, Ost Front from 41 to 45, where uh, in 45 we shot all our rounds at the Russians and ran and surrendered to the British. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I'm wearing standard basic uh, wools for late war for a 44-45 uh, impression outside of Warsaw. Um, I, I have M41 low boots, gaiters, uh, trench knife in my, uh, in my uh, gaiters. I carry a uh, standard infantry belt buckle for the SS. On the German army it reads, Gott mit uns. On here, on the SS, it means, it says, meine Ehre heißt Treue, which means my honor is my loyalty. Um, See, I also carry my bread bag, my canteen, uh, my bayonet. Right here I have the pioneer shovel, the long shovel, which is uh, used for digging uh, uh, holes to lay landmines, booby traps, anything that can be used to uh, enter, harass, and destroy the enemy. Um, in here, uh, I also carry a stick of dynamite. Um, they were used for everything and uh, anything you could think of. Um, on the helmet, you noticed uh, the uh, individual that was just in here, he had splinter camo. SS was issued with their own separate camo. Uh, it was extremely good camo, um, even to this day. Um, I know I know Marines that would die to have German camo from 1944. Um, what I have under here is I have a winter white helmet that I've put a, a, a cover over. Uh, winter white, um, because Russia was so cold and covered in snow 90% of the freaking time. Um, we ended up having a, a lot of uh, improvised uh, camouflage. We would take bed sheets out of houses, cut them up, and wear them in order to, I mean, I've seen pictures of guys with uh, lace tablecloths, uh, knit tablecloths draped over them. Um, I also wear the early style of camo from 41, a field cover. Um, how about coming? Questions? Thank you. Yep. Uh, any books that you would recommend? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, Men of Steel by Michael Reynolds. It's a history of the first SS Panzer Division. Um, it's a relatively dry read, but for anybody who's interested in history, interested in uh, actual tactics and battle movements of the infantry, uh, highly recommend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for attending. We'd like to thank
thank everybody for coming out this weekend. This event, we start right after this event for next year. The equipment, the gear, the uniforms that you see out here today are all individually owned. We buy our own. All the armor, the anti-aircraft equipment, everything is individually owned. So, you know, we're very dedicated to letting people know what the greatest generation did. We want you people, the young people, to know what these guys did. If you ever get a chance to talk to a World War II vet, and he will open up and talk to you. He will amaze you with the stories he'll tell you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And again, uh, take the time to walk to the camps, ask more questions, and enjoy the rest of your day, and, and enjoy the battle.